Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to talk not too loudly because my little guy is sleeping. He just opened his eyes for me starting to talk. I think he'll go back to sleep. Anyways, he is trying to sleep right on the other side of the room, so I'm gonna talk not too loud through this video, but a lot of you have asked me questions about our spelling curriculum. This year, I mentioned at the beginning of the school year what spelling curriculum we were switching to, and so a lot of you guys had asked me questions on how we use it, and so I wanted just to give it a little while and get used to using this curriculum and just kind of playing with it and figuring out how it works for us before I go into an in-depth kind of review and how we use it, but I'm going to share it with you today. So this is what curriculum we're using. We're using a spelling power, and it is by no means a new curriculum. Um, I remember using this spelling curriculum when I was being homeschooled. So my mom had this book, and I don't remember how long we used it for, but I definitely remember very well um, using this spelling curriculum. And so we switched to this one for my kids this year. My two that use it are in grade three and grade one. And so it says on it, I think it says for grade two and up, somewhere I saw that, um, that it's around for grade two and up. So depending on how good they are at spelling, um, what level level they're at, it usually starts around grade two, but this is an all-inclusive book that can go through all the grades. I don't use it the typical way that it says to use it at the front of the book. I actually watched a lot of YouTube videos on how different people use this curriculum, and I kind of went off what Nikki from A Farmhouse Full said, um, how she uses it, and so I played with it a little bit and switched it up a little bit, but I'm using it similar to the way that she explains in her video. So the first good part of the book is all just instructions on how to use the book. And like I said, I use it a little bit differently than they explain how to use it. Um, and so at the beginning, the first thing you want to do is give your kids the placement test. So we started with placement test A, and I gave my kids this um, placement test to see what level they were at. And not surprisingly, they both were at the very beginner's um, level for this book. Um, so then once I figured out how many words they got wrong, etc., and what level they were at, we started with the actual spelling groups. So they have a whole bunch of different spelling groups. And so we started, of course, at level A. We are still working through level A. And level A will probably be at... We, it might take us the whole year to get through level A. I think that's probably how long it'll take us. Like I said, I'm new to this, so I'm not a pro in this book at all. We're just kind of playing it as we go. Um, but first off, how we use it is we do like a five-day um, spelling routine, I guess. So on day one, um, my kids just have little uh, folders. Let me go grab those really quick. All right, I have Elijah and Charity's <laughs> spelling books with me, so I just got some duotangs and used these little name tags to um, write down that it's spelling and for who it's for. Um, so day one, I've printed up all these um, lined papers and put them inside their books. So day one of our spelling cycle, I give them a little test. So we start at the very beginning of their level, wherever they've left off at the week before, and I just start giving them spelling words one at a time. I'll say their spelling word, I will say a sentence with that word in it, and then I'll say that word again, and then they have to spell it. And then if they get one wrong, I make sure to um, remember that they've got one wrong, and we keep going through until they have five words wrong. So I can usually do it pretty well, have the two of them doing spelling at the same time, which helps a ton when I don't have to do separate times. But I'll keep giving them words until they each get five wrong, and once they've gotten their five wrong words, I tell them how they spell those words correctly, and that's it. That's the end of day one. Day two, when it's time for spelling again, I will tell them their word, I will tell them a sentence, I will tell them how to spell that word, and then they need to write it out on their page five times. So each of those five words, they write five times. That's why I pick five words for this level. Once my kids are a little bit older, I know some people will do eight words because their child is in grade six and can spell a lot faster than my young ones can. Um, but I think five words is a good number. So those five words are the words they're going to have all week long. So that second day, I go through and give them their words, I tell them how to spell it, and then they write those words five times each. Day three is the day that I haven't quite 
quite um, figured out yet. We're kind of doing something different each week, but it's kind of something fun. So either I'll get out a whiteboard and the kids get to practice writing those five words um, on a whiteboard, or we'll use magnets to write out the word. Sometimes I'll get them to spell them out loud to me, just kind of different ways to go around um, spelling those words. Sometimes I'll get them to come up with sentences for me. I'll say, okay, now you come up with a sentence for this word. And we're just really, I'm using that word a lot, but it's kind of a different thing every week on what we do on day three. So I don't have that set in stone yet. And maybe I won't. It's kind of fun to just do whatever with those words. Um, and then on day four, I try, <laughs> this is the hard part, I try to come up with a sentence or usually two sentences that um, involve all five words. Um, and then I'll write that down for them and then they have to copy that. So. I just opened to a random page and Elijah's words for this week were fright, going, bowling, toe, and goes. So I wrote down two sentences for him. I was in fright, going bowling, my toe goes in my bowling shoes. So like the sentences don't always quite um, <laughs> make a lot of sense. Um, it might be kind of far out there to try to fit all the words in because I don't want to give them like a whole paragraph to write. And then they have to copy that sentence or two that I wrote down. They have to copy that twice. And I've underlined which ones are their spelling words. Um, and so then same with charities. I'll find an example for you. Um, okay, this is kind of a funny one. Again, <laughs> like I said, the sentences are kind of out there. But her words were we buy sprain cheek and freeze and so the sentence I came up with for her was we freeze by the lake can you sprain a cheek so those sentences don't even go together um, but she had to copy those twice and just writing those spelling words out in sentences um, just kind of a different way to go around um, trying to memorize how to spell these words so that's our day four and then our day five um, we do a spelling test. So those five words, I test them on it. So same as day one, I, but only with those five words, I'll say the word once, I give them a sentence, I give them, I say the word again. So for, I'll give you an example, like I'll say freeze. Um, I'm going to freeze out here, freeze. And then um, they have to write that down. And so at the end, I mark it and see if they could get all five words right. Um, most often they do. They'll at least get four right. Often they do get all five right. If they have a word wrong, I get them to spell it five times again. And then that word is um, held on to for another week. So the next week, day one, when I do that first um, kind of test at the beginning of the week, trying to get those five words that we're going to work on going through the list, um, we start with one word. So we start with last week's word that was wrong and it carries over to the next week and so on. So every week that's what we're doing. Because we only have a four day school week and we have our homeschool co-op on day five every week, every Friday, um, it's not quite as simple as if we had school Monday to Friday. Every Monday would be the test. Every Tuesday would be writing up the words five times and so on, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit trickier because we are only on a four day week. Um, but I, I do want to keep a five day cycle for memorizing those spelling words. I don't know if four days would be enough, but maybe we'll try that sometime. We'll see. Anyways, I hope that explained everything well on how we use spelling power. Um, we are really liking it. I, I really do like it. Um, we've been using other curriculum before, which was okay. I don't think it was the right fit for us. And it was really time consuming. Like it was taking us easily 20 to 30 minutes to do spelling some days, which is ridiculous. It shouldn't have taken that long. Um, but sometimes it would take that long. And this spelling is like five minutes and we're done. So it's just the perfect amount of time. I don't mind doing it every single day that we do school because it is so short. Um, but they're really catching on well and they're really understanding those words and learning new words. Um, the only thing I haven't figured out yet um, is how to go back and review those words. Like we master them, we make sure that they can spell them right before we move on to the new set of five words. But um, I haven't gone back to review those old ones that they had gotten wrong previous weeks. I do when I'm writing my sentences on day five, I'll try if I can to include some past words into those sentences that they are copying. Um, 
but yeah let me know if you have any ideas on how I can kind of cycle through those old words too and kind of bring those back in and make sure that they are still remembering those older spelling words that they learned so that's it. That's how we use spelling power. Like I said, we're enjoying it. I hope this was helpful for you. If you're looking for a new spelling curriculum or you're not sure um, how to use this spelling power curriculum, because it is a little bit daunting when you get it in the mail and you're like, well, I got mine in the mail. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a huge book. Like just to open it and start. And um, But we've kind of gotten into a rhythm and we are enjoying it. So thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, homeschool videos. And we'll see you